How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the fastest way to farm Queen's Tugston in Code Vein. This is the material we need to upgrade our equipment to plus 10. Equivalent to the Titanite slabs in the Soul series. Unlike the slabs, however, these can be infinitely farmed as many as we like per playthrough. And there are multiple ways of farming these, you can just hope for the best and get them from random drops of specific enemies in late game. However, there's actually a really nice quick way of farming these. Of course, as you could imagine, you will need to be late game. The first thing we need to collect is the Dark Depth map to access the Void District. To get this map, all we need to do is go to the Provisional Government Center, and then follow the same pathway we've taken here on the gameplay, until we get to the end of this corridor, go up the ladder, and at the top of this ladder, we'll find the map to be able to access the Void District. Now, once we have the map, all we need to do is go back to the home base and give it in to Davis. And with this, we'll now be able to go to the Void District when we request to go exploring into the depths. It's important to note that the first time we venture into the Void District, we'll need to collect the two keys to open the boss door from killing the mini-bosses on each side. And then once we have both keys, we can open the doorway that's right in front of the missile, which will lead straight to the boss fight. The boss fight is going to be a repeat of the Blade Bearer and the Cannoneer. And all we need to do is simply defeat them. Once we have killed both bosses, we'll be rewarded with two Queen's Tungsten guaranteed every single time. And the best thing about this is once we go back to the home base and then talk to Davis and request to go back to the Void District, we no longer need to collect the keys every single time. Now the doorway to the boss will be open so we can go directly from the missile to the boss fight. And every single time they're going to drop two Queen's Tungsten. And of course this is not the easiest boss fight in the world, so dependent obviously on how good you are or how powerful your character is, this method is going to be either quicker or slower, but it's still by far the best way of farming the Queen's Tungsten. So I hope you did find this video helpful guys, if you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.